The interzone denial with logging assessment checks to see if there's a policy rule that either modifies or overrides the default interzone deny rule. It is best practice to enable logging at session end for traffic between zones. The firewall has a default security policy rule at the bottom of the rule base. The interzone default that denies all traffic between zones. Security admins must create specific rules to allow traffic between zones. Override the rule and enable log at session end to gain visibility that the interzone default rule denies to evaluate. Whether legitimate traffic is inadvertently being denied or if recent changes deny traffic that should be allowed. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click Open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click Next. We can see here that there's several failed best practice checks. We are going to remediate the interzone deny rule with logging best practice failed check. Select the policy and click Next. So take a look at the message at the very top. Please copy and execute the commands below to create a log forwarding profiles. In this particular case, we need to execute these commands on the firewall before continuing on with the wizard. So we're going to click the copy command button. Now we'll switch over to the firewall. Open the file of the commands that we copied and copy those commands. The next step is to open an SSH session to the firewall. Next we'll paste the commands. And as you can see, we entered configuration mode, we entered the commands that we copied out, and we exited configuration mode. Now we'll go back to the BPA plus wizard and continue. Now we can see the interzone deny rule with logging. The device group is shown up here. Since we're only remediating one policy, this is the actual device group that it's associated with. As you can see, the best practice setting is selected here, and the parameters over to the right for the security rule. You can see that the log at session end, which is highlighted in a blue, that is the value that actually will change in order to comply with best practices. If you want to see the existing settings, simply click the existing settings checkbox. You will be presented with a warning. Are you sure you want to deselect the best practice setting for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure. And as you can see down here, log at session end is set to false now. So we're going to reselect the best practice settings and we're going to click next. Notice the message at the top. Please review your changes before execution. Your existing configuration will be updated once the PanOS set commands are executed. So in this case, there's a single policy. Copy the commands here. So as we look at these commands, you can see the configure, which puts the firewall into configuration mode. Next, you'll see the commands we need to remediate the issue. And then also notice the very last command here. Set rule-based default security rules, rules, interzone default, log setting, basic log forwarding profile. This is the profile you created in the previous step. Now we'll navigate back to the firewall. Now we'll locate the commands that we copied over. Copy them. Back to the CLI of the firewall and paste them. We recommend you do a commit operation based on your company's policies on configuration changes to the firewall. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to do a commit now.
The next step is to generate another tech support file to verify that our changes took effect and remediated the issue. Just to verify the settings took effect and remediated the issue, I've uploaded the tech support file I generated after entering the commands, and now we're going to click Next. As you can see, there are no policies to remediate. We have remediated the issue using the BPA Plus wizard. Let's also take a quick look at what was done on the firewall. Here is the interzone default rule. If we open it up and select Actions, we can see that Log at Session N has been enabled. While we just remediated a single policy, if you had 50 or 60 policies, this would be a much easier way to remediate all of them at once. Now we're going to go to Objects, Log Forwarding, and this is the basic log forwarding profile that we created using the tool. If I open it up, you can see here's a log forwarding profile and a basic match list, which was part of the commands we entered. This concludes the demo.